chair. Okay, so and, yeah. if you don't mind, go ahead and uh, open your presentation so that we can check that everything goes fine. And yeah, I'm supposed to moderate this session, but this is a smooth process, I hope. Uh, depending on the of the number of contributions, I think we should use the raise hand features or uh, if this is too inconvenient, we can just try to to open or just open your mic and I will find out whether this works. OK. I guess you will take how many how long about very now, Silke? Half an hour. Yeah, in total. Um, yeah. But your presentation? Uh, about uh, 20, 10 minutes. 20, yeah, something like that. Yeah, 20 okay. minutes. We have two whiteboards. It, uh, yes. Okay. And um, if you. I'll, I'm going to share, nevertheless, uh, the links to the mural boards. You will, for at some time, ask us to switch to the murals, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have the first mural board a link. Um, already ready to copy it to the um, great uh, so yeah. nothing nothing mm -hmm. further to do for me <laughs> you will take over <laughs> barely everything and okay. i will try to to follow up on on ch and the, the chat news or whatever okay perfect can you see my screen already the white fluffy yes. mystery yes perfect. looks great so should we start yeah Everybody i ready? think let's go over okay the white fluffy mystery and its story. We had 1,407 followers in the first four weeks. We had 34 likes per day. We had 66,000 views for our content. And we was from 12,000 groups, uh, number 16, when you look about the followers. So we was very proud about that. And now Verena will send the first whiteboard uh, link in the chat. I will share again, whiteboard. Wait a minute. Now, what the fluff is that? Guess what it could be about. You have any ideas? Why we make a white fluffy community? I wish you will write down some ideas on the whiteboard. <laughs> Hot steam. <laughs> um, we are really an action with in Daimler. Cats. Just in case that okay. somebody is not really familiar with the mural, just uh, use a oh. double click you to, to, double to click. an empty space and uh, a sticky note will open. And um, with just just moving uh, the, the mouse wheel, you can scroll and uh, by clicking on an empty space, you can move the sheet around. You, know, you can't not scroll, but zoom what I meant. Yeah. Something new like a white paper. OK, great ideas you, you find out here. Um, we will go forward now or any more ideas? Free car for testing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there was something free. Yes, there was some free things, but not a free car. OK, I will change again uh, to the present presentation if you're ready it's okay because what you guess now 
The whole Daimler had to find out what the fluff is that. And I share my presentation now again. One moment. So, we want voluntary e learning. That means um, we got the order to develop a mandatory learning for 140,000 employees about the cloud. So it's about the cloud, the why the fluffy thing is the cloud. We said we would uh, rather like the colleagues to learn voluntary. We don't want it will be you have to do that training. Our client said, OK, then bring me an idea how we can achieve the people learn voluntary. So 140,000 people should learn voluntary. This was our goal to get it. So we developed the idea of the first mystery campaign in the Daimler social intranet. And um, it was a training about cloud awareness for 140,000 employees worldwide. And um, we want to target the mystery campaign to raise learner engagement and awake curiosity. And what we did. It, First, we had the idea and um, we started to get in contact with the influencer. We find out who is the influencer in the social intranet and uh, we want to ask them to help us to promote that with the white fluffy mystery. And uh, we want to create fun through interactive participation in the form of a challenge and a game. On the picture you see, it's me. Silke in a white fluffy dress and I was on stage at the Daimler network night and there's the networkers from Daimler and I asked our internet influencers on stage would you change your profile picture into something white and fluffy and share the status the white fluffy mystery to come. And you cannot imagine I nearly get tears in my eyes because all the people in the room raised up the hands. They want to change the profile pictures in white fluffy stuff and they will make the status updates white fluffy mystery to come. They don't know what it's about. We didn't tell them what we what was our plan with the white fluffy mystery. And this was really, really, really it make, makes us really strong, Verena, in me, in me to follow the idea. And uh, before we came to the network night, Verena and I, we started to change our um, our up status update in the social internet, the white fluffy mystery to come. And some of the influencers ask us, what is going on? What is the white fluffy mystery? And so we get in contact with all of them, like Achim and the others, and ask, you would pro help to help us to promote the white fluffy mystery. And so slowly, slowly, they all find the idea is great. And uh, so it started that there was no community, nothing, but people make the blogs. They, they write in their blogs. Now start with the white fl fluffy mystery challenge, the white fluffy mysteries to come. The uh, secret will get open on 24 of um, April. You will know what this is about. And we need to talk about this white fluffy stuff and fluff level over 9,000. This is some pictures what they posted to help us to promote the community and um, now Verena is telling you what we did yeah um, when we the day we started uh, with the community so as Silke told you it already started before we started the community but the day we started the community um, we introduced the challenge and the community with an article on social intranet on the front page of Daimler Info. And we achieved to uh, post this article here named What the Fluff is This? with white smoke on it. Imagine that an, an article on the front page without anything that you know it is about. And uh, that was really an exciting experiment. Um, 
we didn't know uh, what would happen. We were really not sure. Will we get a, a shit storm? So uh, or will we be successful? Will we still be on our jobs next week? We didn't know. But uh, we had a lot of uh, supporters also from communication department and everybody was uh, excited like we were. And now on the next page, you see what really happened. Um, people were guessing. They, um, they were guessing, is it, is it fluffy seat covers? Is the beard of our boss disappearing? Or they were posting fl fluffy stuff as their pets and their food and other things. So our colleagues really have proven um, that they really have a sense of humor. And uh, that I think that never happened before um, on our intranet. And that showed for the first time that uh, what works on social media also works on on social intranet. So on the next, please change to the next slide. Um, this, this is a picture of how the community looked like. Um, you see there uh, 683 followers, but in, we had in a very short time, we had up to 1,400 followers on that um, community and um, were number 16 of 12,000. Next, many people um, were taking part in our challenge. We had a challenge and a game. Uh, the challenge was to follow the community, um, to change the profile picture into something white and fluffy. And even our client, a very high manager from IT department, he changed his profile picture to a white penguin. So that was, uh, yeah, that was really funny to see profile pictures changing um, more and more from day to day. Yeah, and then people had to share their, their status and uh, book an event at the end. And the event was the date of our go live from our e-learning, but nobody knew what the event was. So, um, as I said, we had already uh, also had a game. Uh, for that game, we posted uh, hints with hidden letters in pictures. And those letters together, um, led to the to the um, yeah to the answer what the white, white fluffy mystery is about um, yeah can you see what we were looking for what word we can we were looking for ah silke already changed to the side so the word we were looking for of course was cloud and uh, at the end of that um, game we had happy winners from all over the world, really from the US, from Asia, from Spain, from Germany. So people from all over the world uh, took part in the game. And then at the end, they posted their picture with the prize they won. It was a white fluffy cloud. The day uh, of our go live with the um, uh, e-learning, we had another article, Mystery Soft, and the one who solved our mystery, and we were very happy about this, it was Ola Kalenius himself. He solved uh, what is the white fluffy mystery about, and he explained um, why it is important uh, to make the e-learning and why it is important to know about the cloud. So um, uh, we had really um, a lot of participants also in the e-learning. Um, I think in the first few days we had a few thousand already and up to now, in the meantime, we have 65,000 voluntary participants, with, which is really a lot. We didn't reach the 140,000, but we think it's better to have 65,000 people who learn voluntarily and who really are interested in the subject than to force people in clicking through something um, they re really won't remember and they're not interested in. So, and at the end now, uh, we won even the e-learning award 2020. 
for inter best internal marketing. So that also made us very happy because that was, um, you didn't see anything about the e-learning now. It was also very nice, but also the e-learning uh, journal understood very well um, um, yeah, the campaign we are go we we had in social intranet, and that this was very new, and that's why we won the e-learning award. So, and uh, before we go to uh, what we would like you to help us with, uh, we would like to ask you if you have any uh, questions. Yeah, there was one question in the chat: How long ah. took the preparation of the campaign? Oh, um, well, in total, we started with the kickoff of the project uh, in November. We went live um, end of April the following year, but that was um, the not only of the it. campaign, that was also the development um, of the e-learning. E mm -hmm. And everybody of you who, who works in that field probably knows that it's um, it takes minimum three months to develop such a big um, e-learning and yeah and the campaign we had uh, the campaign I we had an agency to help us uh, who, the agency who developed the e-learning and they also proposed um, the idea of the campaign and then we had um, and social an internal social media consultant also helping us with the campaign campaign and also with the community so yeah that was the the timeline but the community we started four weeks before we prepared everything mm -hmm. and then the campaign was running five weeks and not longer because we need to put the hints every week we make one hint with a new a letter to find out what this is about and so the campaign was only running five weeks in the social internet, long, not longer. But the preparation to get all the influences and the network night and everything like that, it started some two and a half months before the e-learning uh, get uh, ready. How many team members were involved? Well, of our team, it was um, Silke and, and me. We were uh, the project uh, managers and we really worked hand in hand. Um, but we had a lot of um, colleagues to support us and uh, especially with the e-learning, you need subject matter experts. A at the agency, it were um, probably f um, six people. We had about six or seven subject matter experts working on the content of the e-learning and for the campaign it was um it was us and um two people from two uh, people yeah from um helping us yeah yeah some more questions um um famous influences from outside the daimler people no. no, it was only an internal campaign, yes. only Daimler internal. Yeah. And the problem we have now, we make this community, we have a lot of followers, but the white fluffy mystery is over. And so the community is silent because our thing is, how can we keep the community alive? So we had, we missing to keep this community alive. And so we don't know how we can push this. Still, we have 2,000, 1,200 followers because they don't disconnect us. <laughs> so, so, but how can we work with that one? Because it's amazing to have uh, so many followers on the community. We published uh, another e-learning on this community, so they all get informed, but not with the white fluffy. And uh, so we only hope make them interesting. There's coming something new from us. But now community is silent. So we need to use this community for something else. But for that, we want to ask you, how we, can we do that? And I will um, make this cat away now and I will share the next whiteboard. So maybe you have an idea how we can uh, get forward with that. 
um, one moment. So, so this is it was so white and fluffy, and our so full heart. Yeah. There's a qu somebody raising the hand, Daniel. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't see that when I have the presentation. But he unraises, obviously. Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> so. Our full heart was in that community and our full emotion was in that community because he was so happy we don't get a shit storm. Um, but now it is dead and this makes me sad. <laughs> Uh, that, that's a good idea. Provide evergreen updates. What's new in your cloud? Um, there's so many cloud communities uh, in Daimler for the clouds we use in the company. So we have some links to important things and we have the links to these cloud communities in our community. But uh, all the news for the in Daimler used clouds, they running on the on the special cloud communities. So this was our okay. ID first as well. There's a question from uh, um, Fiona. Do you really need to um, or have to keep it? So, um, well. Yes, I mean, it's not so easy. I mean, um, maybe it doesn't sound many people, 1,200, but it's really one of the biggest communities and uh, it's not so easy to get so many followers. So um, it would be great if we could use this audience, but it's, yeah, the problem is uh, how to keep it alive and, um, yeah, do we find a subject that bring that brings also those people together? Kind of cloud key user program, tell a story about the cloud, maybe too many stimuli in the ESN, other media, posters, cards, screw up story, ask people. Yeah, that's sure. Ask the customers. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is right. Yeah. I didn't switch on my um, camera. I just see what, it. What what was the that the content of that or that that yeah the the intention of that e-learning about that cloud? The so e-learning was about um what cloud. is a cloud, what cloud types um do exist, okay. um like uh, software as a service, um why we need the cloud, how do you use cloud in private, uh, in, in your private life. So to tell and all the Daimler people, it is important and we cannot live without using clouds. Yeah. And also, also what, what do we have to be aware of? Yeah. Um, are there any risks uh, using a cloud and so on? Um, mm. And it was also a preparation for a second e-learning um, for a um, so-called data at cloud process um, that you have to go through if you're using cloud services. So the goal was to raise awareness um, about what is a cloud and um, yeah, how, how do I already use it? Okay, so it means you're using different cloud services within Daimler um, and uh, the the updates about the different cloud services is done by the special communities. Yes. Um, yes. What about um, updating your followers about um, that general topics? So um, possible security issues or fake issues that uh, might go around by rumors or a kind of internal mimikama. Mm. Also great idea. So 
just keeping that um, always that that update some 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 news and something. Um, yeah, it's similar to that forty two community at Conti. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was um, originally founded or started as the project community for that introduction of the Office 365 services. Mm -hmm. um, and um, after that was uh, rolled out, um, that project is closed now. Uh, this is uh, used as a new work style community, um, which is more or less um, yeah, what you need to, to have if you want to use that Microsoft services um, and really having effects on that. You need to change something on your work style. And so there are the updates in regards of the sharing collaboration work style. And why not that uh, fluffy community using for yeah general updates, topics on cloud topics? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I can see here a lot of hijack cards. No, a lot of cards hijack it. And in the chat is written, I think it would be to waste to lose all these people. Yes, that's what our feeling is as well. And invite speakers to share insights about cloud is written here. Create a new fluffy monster. Yes, we would like to do it. <laughs> Definitely keep the fluffy cloud and ask what other learnings do you wish to be offered? Yeah, that's also a great idea. Hi, check the mid, uh, still writing. Tell a story of the cloud, find partners and share other learnings, resources about progressive future digital topics and entertaining way use the white fluffy brand. Great idea, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Launch a six day challenge. For what? They should influence more people to make the cloud training. <laughs> Maybe too many stimuli in the ESN. Uh, I read that before. Rebrand the yes. Daniel is raising his hand. Yes. Just, uh, just open your mic. Huh? Wonderful. Thanks. You, um, I think you, you can hear me. Um, I've um, I've got a question or a proposal. Um, the Deutsche Telekom has a wonderful community called um, Learning from Experts, Lex. So, so there um, they used um, the curiosity of learning um, to from colleagues to colleagues. It would it be a nice idea to change the topic? You started the, the com campaign to um, make your workers uh, curious about learning. Mm -hmm. Why don't um, bring this topic to the top so mm -hmm. that um, people who are experts in cloud or some other things um, share their knowledge to the colleagues and um, keep them going. Like a, um, this open session for everybody at Daimler where mm -hmm. they can talk about topic A, B, C. And um, I, it's a really wonderful thing um, that the Deutsche Telekom um, did the last few years to, mm -hmm. to have the Lex community and, and Georg, Georg um, it's a part of uh, Georg from Dodgy Telecom, who is also a session owner today, is one mm -hmm. part of it. And there's so much learning in LinkedIn. If you follow um, Shakir, Avan, um, and, and Georg and other um, Dodgy Telecom mm. um, influencers, everything is there. You just have to start. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah, so cool. That's all. And how? How do you do it? Is this, um, do you offer live sessions or uh, how yeah, can it's, I it's, imagine? It's, it's like a, a Amazon marketplace for knowledge. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Achim told we have to come to an yeah. end. Yeah, mm -hmm. Daniel, it might, might, might be a, a good idea to uh, make a post to the camp. It appears mm -hmm. to be a really interesting yeah. issue yeah. and you yeah. already mentioned that there are a lot of interests out there. Yes, yeah. I would join that definitely. <laughs> yep. Uh, and if you don't mind, uh, put some information here to the mural. The mural uh, will keep open for a while uh, and be, will be referenced in the, in the session recordings. And uh, I have to say thank you very much for yeah, this challenge, Verena and Silke, it was quite interesting and I get you get at least some responses 
and the discussion yeah. is still open. Yeah, <laughs> that's thank you so much for the idea for this uh, format here to get people connected. Yeah, thank you so much that you make so many nice posts and so many great ideas. And thanks for joining. Yes. But I will go out of the presentation.